In thermodynamics, the Gibbs free energy IUPAC recommended name, Gibbs energy or Gibbs function, also known as free enthalpy to distinguish it from Helmholtz free energy, is a thermodynamic potential that can be used to calculate the maximum of reversible work that may be performed by a thermodynamic system at a constant temperature and pressure isothermal, isobaric. The Gibbs free energy, delta G equals delta T delta J in SI units, is the maximum amount of non-expansion work that can be extracted from a thermodynamically closed system, one that can exchange heat and work with its surroundings, but not matter. This maximum can be attained only in a completely reversible process. When a system transforms reversibly from an initial state to a final state, the decrease in Gibbs free energy equals the work done by the system to its surroundings, minus the work of the pressure forces. The Gibbs energy, also referred to as G, is also the thermodynamic potential that is minimized when a system reaches chemical equilibrium at constant pressure and temperature. Its derivative with respect to the reaction coordinate of the system vanishes at the equilibrium point. As such, a reduction in G is a necessary condition for the spontaneity of processes at constant pressure and temperature. The Gibbs free energy, originally called available energy, was developed in the 1870s by the American scientist Josiah Willard Gibbs. In 1873, Gibbs described this available energy as the greatest amount of mechanical work which can be obtained from a given quantity of a certain substance in a given initial state, without increasing its total volume or allowing heat to pass to or from external bodies, except such as at the close of the processes are left in their initial condition. The initial state of the body, according to Gibbs, is supposed to be such that the body can be made to pass from it to states of dissipated energy by reversible processes. In his 1876 magnum opus on the equilibrium of heterogeneous substances, a graphical analysis of multiphase chemical systems, he engaged his thoughts on chemical free energy in full. Overview According to the second law of thermodynamics, for systems reacting at STP, or any other fixed temperature and pressure, there is a general natural tendency to achieve a minimum of the Gibbs free energy. A quantitative measure of the favorability of a given reaction at constant temperature and pressure is the change delta G, sometimes written delta G or dG in Gibbs free energy that is or would be caused by the reaction. As a necessary condition for the reaction to occur at constant temperature and pressure, delta G must be smaller than the non-PV e.g. electrical work, which is often equal to zero, hence delta G must be negative. Delta G equals the maximum amount of non-PV work that can be performed as a result of the chemical reaction for the case of reversible process. If the analysis indicated a positive delta G for the reaction, then energy in the form of electrical or other non-PV work would have to be added to the reacting system for delta G to be smaller than the non-PV work and make it possible for the reaction to occur. We can think of increment G as the amount of free or useful energy available to do work. The equation can be also seen from the perspective of the system taken together with its surroundings, the rest of the universe. First, assume that the given reaction at constant temperature and pressure is the only one that is occurring. Then the entropy released or absorbed by the system equals the entropy that the environment must absorb or release, respectively. The reaction will only be allowed if the total entropy change of the universe is zero or positive. This is reflected in a negative delta G, and the reaction is called exergonic. If we couple reactions, then an otherwise endergonic chemical reaction, one with positive delta G, can be made to happen. The input of heat into an inherently endergonic reaction, such as the elimination of cyclohexanol to cyclohexene, can be seen as coupling an unfavorable reaction elimination to a favorable one, burning of coal or other provision of heat, such that the total entropy change of the universe is greater than or equal to zero, making the total Gibbs free energy difference of the coupled reactions negative. In traditional use, the term free was included in Gibbs free energy to mean available in the form of useful work. The characterization becomes more precise if we add the qualification that it is the energy available for non-volume work, an analogous, but slightly different, meaning of free 
applies in conjunction with the Helmholtz free energy, for systems at constant temperature. However, an increasing number of books and journal articles do not include the attachment. Free. Referring to G is simply. Gives energy. This is the result of a 1988 IUPAC meeting to set unified terminologies for the international scientific community, in which the adjective free was supposedly banished. This standard, however, has not yet been universally adopted. History The quantity called free energy is a more advanced and accurate replacement for the outdated term affinity, which was used by chemists in the earlier years of physical chemistry to describe the force that caused chemical reactions. In 1873, Willard Gibbs published A Method of Geometrical Representation of the Thermodynamic Properties of Substances by Means of Surfaces, in which he sketched the principles of his new equation that was able to predict or estimate the tendencies of various natural processes to ensue when bodies or systems are brought into contact. By studying the interactions of homogeneous substances in contact, i.e., bodies composed of part solid, part liquid, and part vapor, and by using a three-dimensional volume entropy internal energy graph, Gibbs was able to determine three states of equilibrium, i.e., necessarily stable, neutral, and unstable, and whether or not changes would ensue. Further, Gibbs stated, in this description, as used by Gibbs, epsilon refers to the internal energy of the body, eta refers to the entropy of the body, and nu is the volume of the body. Thereafter, in 1882, the German scientist Hermann von Helmholtz characterized the affinity as the largest quantity of work which can be gained when the reaction is carried out in a reversible manner, e.g., electrical work in a reversible cell. The maximum work is thus regarded as the diminution of the free, or available, energy of the system, gives free energy G at T. Constant P Constant or Helmholtz free energy F at T. Constant V Constant, whilst the heat given out is usually a measure of the diminution of the total energy of the system internal energy, thus, G or F is the amount of energy free for work under the given conditions. Until this point, the general view had been such that all chemical reactions drive the system to a state of equilibrium in which the affinities of the reactions vanish. Over the next 60 years, the term affinity came to be replaced with the term free energy. According to chemistry historian Henry Lester, the influential 1923 textbook Thermodynamics and the Free Energy of Chemical Substances by Gilbert N. Lewis and Merle Randall led to the replacement of the term affinity by the term free energy in much of the English-speaking world. Graphical interpretation Gibbs' free energy was originally defined graphically. In 1873, American scientist Willard Gibbs published his first thermodynamics paper, Graphical Methods in the Thermodynamics of Fluids, in which Gibbs used the two coordinates of the entropy and volume to represent the state of the body. In his second follow-up paper, A Method of Geometrical Representation of the Thermodynamic Properties of Substances by Means of Surfaces, Published later that year, Gibbs added in the third coordinate of the energy of the body, defined on three figures. In 1874, Scottish physicist James Clerk Maxwell used Gibbs's figures to make a 3D energy entropy volume thermodynamic surface of a fictitious water-like substance. Thus, in order to understand the very difficult concept of Gibbs free energy one must be able to understand its interpretation as Gibbs defined originally by section AB on his figure 3 and as Maxwell sculpted that section on his 3D surface figure. Definitions The Gibbs free energy is defined as G P T equals u plus p v minus t 
S display style G P T equals U plus P V T S which is the same as G P T equals H minus T S display style G P T equals H T S where U is the internal energy SI unit joule P is pressure SI unit Pascal V is volume SI unit M3 T is the temperature SI unit Kelvin S is the entropy SI unit joule per Kelvin H is the enthalpy SI unit joule the expression for the infinitesimal reversible change in the Gibbs free energy as a function of its natural variables, P and T, for an open system, subjected to the operation of external forces, for instance, electrical or magnetic, she, which cause the external parameters of the system I to change by an amount di, can be derived as follows from the first law for reversible processes. T D S equals D U plus P D V minus I equals one K mu i d n i plus i equals 1 n x i d a I plus display style T mathem D S equals mathem D U plus P mathem D V sum underscore I equals one carrot K mu underscore I mathem D N underscore I plus sum underscore I equals one carrot N X underscore I mathem D A underscore I plus C D O T S D T S minus S D T equals D U plus D P V minus V D P minus I equals one K mu I D N I plus I equals one N X I D A I plus 
display style mathrm dts s mathrm dt equals mathrm d u plus mathrm dp v v mathrm dp sum underscore i equals one caret k mu underscore i mathrm d n underscore i plus sum underscore i equals one caret n x underscore i mathrm d a underscore i plus c d o t s d u minus t s plus p v equals v d p minus s d T plus I equals one K mu I D N I minus I equals 1 n x i d a i plus Display style mathrm d u t s plus p v equals v mathrm d p s mathrm d t plus sum underscore i equals one caret k mu underscore i mathrm d n underscore i sum underscore i equals one caret n x underscore i mathrm d a underscore i plus c d o t s d g equals V D P minus S D T plus I equals one K mu I D N I minus I equals one N X I D A I plus Display style mathem D G equals V mathem D P S mathem D T plus sum underscore I equals one carrot K mu underscore I mathem D N underscore I sum underscore I equals one carrot N X underscore I mathem D A underscore I plus C D O T S where Mu I is the chemical potential of the ITH chemical component, SI unit, joules per particle or joules per mole. Mi is the number of particles or number of moles composing the ITH chemical component. This is one form of Gibbs fundamental equation. In the infinitesimal expression, the term involving the chemical potential accounts for changes in Gibbs free energy resulting from an influx or outflux of particles. In other words, it holds for an open system or for a closed, chemically reacting system where the knee are changing. For a closed, non-reacting system, this term may be dropped. Any number of extra terms may be added, depending on the particular system being considered. Aside from mechanical work, a system may, in addition, perform numerous other types of work. For example, in the infinitesimal expression, the contractile work energy associated with a thermodynamic system that is a contractile fiber that shortens by an amount minus dl under a force f would result in a term f dl being added. 
If a quantity of charge minus d is acquired by a system at an electrical potential psi, the electrical work associated with this is minus psi d, which would be included in the infinitesimal expression. Other work terms are added on per system requirements. Each quantity in the equations above can be divided by the amount of substance, measured in moles, to form molar Gibbs free energy. The Gibbs free energy is one of the most important thermodynamic functions for the characterization of a system. It is a factor in determining outcomes such as the voltage of an electrochemical cell, and the equilibrium constant for a reversible reaction. In isothermal, isobaric systems, Gibbs free energy can be thought of as a dynamic quantity, in that it is a representative measure of the competing effects of the enthalpic and entropic driving forces involved in a thermodynamic process. The temperature dependence of the Gibbs energy for an ideal gas is given by the Gibbs-Helmholtz equation, and its pressure dependence is given by G N equals G N plus K T lane P P Display style FRAC G N equals FRAC G carrot circ N plus K T lane FRAC P P carrot circ. If the volume is known rather than pressure, then it becomes G N equals G N plus K T lane B B display style frac g n equals frac g caret circ n plus K T lane frac B caret circ V or more conveniently as its chemical potential g n equals mu equals mu plus k t lane p P display style frac g n equals mu equals mu caret circ plus k t lane frac p p caret circ. In non-ideal systems, fugacity comes into play. Derivation. The Gibbs free energy total differential natural variables may be derived by Legendre transforms of the internal energy. D U equals T D S minus P D B plus I mu I D N I display style mathrm D U equals T mathrm D S P mathrm D B plus sum underscore I mu underscore I mathrm D N underscore I. The definition of G from above is G equals U plus P B minus T S display style G equals U plus P B T S. Taking the total differential, we have D G equals 
D U plus P D B plus B D P minus T D S minus S D T Display style Mathem D G equals Mathem D U plus P Mathem D B plus B Mathem D P T Mathem D S S Mathem D T Replacing do with the result from the first law gives D G equals T D S minus P D B plus I U I D N I plus P D B plus B D P minus T D S minus S D T equals B D P minus S D T plus I mu I D N I display style begin aligned mathem D G and equals T mathem D S P mathem D B plus sum underscore I mu underscore I mathem D N underscore I plus P mathem D B plus B mathem D P T mathem D S S mathem D T and equals B mathem D P S mathem D T plus sum underscore I mu underscore I mathem D N underscore I end aligned the natural variables of G are then P, T, and Ni. Homogeneous systems because S, B, and Ni are extensive variables, an Euler integral allows easy integration of do, U equals T S minus P B plus I mu I N I, display style U equals T S P B plus, sum underscore I mu underscore I and underscore I, because some of the natural variables of G are intensive, D G may not be integrated using Euler integrals as is the case with internal energy. However, simply substituting the above integrated result for u into the definition of g gives a standard expression for g. g equals u plus pb minus ts equals ts minus pb plus i mu i n i plus pb minus ts equals i mu i n i display style begin aligned g and equals u plus pb ts and equals ts pb plus sum underscore i mu underscore i and underscore i plus pb ts and equals sum underscore i mu U underscore I and underscore I end aligned. This result applies to homogeneous macroscopic systems, but not to all thermodynamic systems. Gibbs free energy of reactions the system under consideration is held at constant temperature and pressure, and is closed, no matter can come in or out. The Gibbs energy of any system is G equals U plus P B minus T 
S display style G equals U plus P V T S and an infinitesimal change in G at constant temperature and pressure yields D G equals D U plus P D B minus T D S Display style DG equals do plus PDV TDS. By the first law of thermodynamics, a change in the internal energy U is given by D U equals delta Q plus delta W display style do equals delta q plus delta w where delta q is energy added as heat and delta w is energy added as work the work done on the system may be written as delta w equals minus pdv plus delta wx where minus pdv is the mechanical work of compression expansion done on the system and delta wx is all other forms of work which may include electrical magnetic etc Assuming that only mechanical work is done, D U equals delta Q minus P D V. Display style do equals delta Q P D V and the infinitesimal change in g is d g equals delta q minus t d s display style dg equals delta q t d s the second law of thermodynamics states that for a closed system T D S delta Q display style T D S G E Q delta Q and so it follows that D G Zero display style dg leq zero. This means that for a system which is not in equilibrium, its Gibbs energy will always be decreasing, and when it is in equilibrium, i.e. no longer changing, the infinitesimal change dg will be zero. In particular, this will be true if the system is experiencing any number of internal chemical reactions on its path to equilibrium. Useful identities to derive the Nernst equation During a reversible electrochemical reaction at constant temperature and pressure, the following equations involving the Gibbs free energy hold Delta R G equals Delta R G plus R T lane Q R display style delta underscore text R G equals delta underscore text R G caret circ plus R T lane Q underscore text R see chemical equilibrium Delta R G equals minus 
R T Lane K E Q Display style delta underscore text R G carrot circ equals R T Lane K underscore text E Q for a system at chemical equilibrium delta r g equals w elect rev equals minus n f e Display style delta underscore text R G equals W underscore text elect rev equals NFE for a reversible electrochemical process at constant temperature and pressure delta R G equals minus N F E Display style delta underscore text R G carrot circ equals N F E carrot circ Definition of E degree and rearranging gives N F E equals R T Lane K EQ Display style NFE carrot circ equals RT Lane K underscore text EQ N F E equals N F E Minus R T Lane Q R R Display style NFE equals NFE carrot circ R T Lane Q underscore text R R E equals E minus R T North F Lane Q R Display style E equals E carrot circ FRAC RT NF Lane Q underscore text R which relates the self-potential resulting from the reaction to the equilibrium constant and reaction quotient for that reaction, Nernst equation, where delta R G equals gives free energy change per mole of reaction. Delta R G degree equals gives free energy change per mole of reaction for unmixed reactants and products at standard conditions, i.e. 298 K, 100 kilopascals, 1 M of each reactant and product. R equals gas constant. T equals absolute temperature. Lane equals natural logarithm. QR equals reaction quotient, unitless. KEQ equals equilibrium constant, unitless. Wellick, Rev equals electrical work in a reversible process, chemistry sign convention. N equals number of moles of electrons transferred in the reaction. F. Faraday constant. 96,485 C per mole, charge per mole of electrons. E equals cell potential. E degree equals standard cell potential. Moreover, we also have K EQ 
equals e minus delta r g r t Display style k underscore text eq equals e caret frac delta underscore text r g caret circ r t delta r g equals minus r t lane K EQ equals minus two point three zero three R T log ten K EQ Display style delta underscore text R G carrot circ equals R T lane K underscore text EQ equals minus two point three zero three R T log underscore ten K underscore text EQ which relates the equilibrium constant with Gibbs free energy. This implies that at equilibrium Q R equals K EQ Display style Q underscore text R equals K underscore text EQ and Delta R G equals zero Display style delta underscore text R G equals zero. The second law of thermodynamics and metabolism. A chemical reaction will or can't proceed spontaneously if the change in the total entropy of the universe that would be caused by the reaction is non-negative. As discussed in the overview, if the temperature and pressure are held constant, the Gibbs free energy is a negative proxy for the change in total entropy of the universe. It is negative because S appears with a negative coefficient in the expression for G, so the Gibbs free energy moves in the opposite direction from the total entropy. Thus, a reaction with a positive Gibbs free energy will not proceed spontaneously. However, in biological systems among others, energy inputs from other energy sources including the sun and exothermic chemical reactions are coupled with reactions that are not entropically favored i.e. have a Gibbs free energy above zero. Taking into account the coupled reactions, the total entropy in the universe increases. This coupling allows endergonic reactions, such as photosynthesis and DNA synthesis, to proceed without decreasing the total entropy of the universe. Thus biological systems do not violate the second law of thermodynamics. Standard energy change of formation The standard Gibbs free energy of formation of a compound is the change of Gibbs free energy that accompanies the formation of one mole of that substance from its component elements, at their standard states, the most stable form of the element at 25 degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascals. Its symbol is delta Fg. All elements in their standard states, diatomic oxygen gas, graphite, etc., have standard Gibbs free energy change of formation equal to zero, as there is no change involved. Delta Fg equals delta Fg plus Rt lane Qf. Qf is the reaction quotient. At equilibrium, delta Fg. Zero and QF K, so the equation becomes delta FG equals minus RT lane K, where K is the equilibrium constant. See also Calfid Electron equivalent Enthalpy entropy compensation 
Free entropy Grand potential Thermodynamic free energy Spinodal, spinodal curves, Hessian matrix Critical point, thermodynamics Non-random two-liquid model, NRTL model, gives energy of excess and mixing calculation and activity coefficients UNIQUAC model, gives energy of excess and mixing calculation and activity coefficients Notes and references External links IUPAC definition – Gibbs Energy Gibbs Free Energy Calculator Gibbs Energy – Florida State University Gibbs Free Energy – Eric Weistein's World of Physics Entropy and Gibbs Free Energy – www.2andlaw.oxy.edu Gibbs Free Energy – Georgia State University Gibbs Free Energy Java Applet, University of California, Berkeley Using Gibbs Free Energy for Prediction of Chemical-Driven Material Aging Topological Analysis of the Gibbs Energy Function, Liquid-Liquid Equilibrium Correlation Data. Including a Thermodynamic Review and a Graphical User Interface for Surfaces, Tie Lines, Hessian Matrix Analysis, University of Alicante, Reyes-Labarta et al. 2015 to 18